everyone. A while ago, I made my own rice goji at home and I made a video about it. This time I made shio koji or koji salt using my homemade rice koji. In order to make my shio koji, I have referred to other YouTube videos and also online recipes. The references can be found in the description of this video. First, I am measuring 110 grams of rice koji and breaking up some lumps. I'm adding 25 grams of salt and this time I used sea salt. Then I am adding 100 milliliters of water. Let's give them a good stir. I'm going to transfer the mixture into a glass jar with a lid. Close the lid and I will let this sit in room temperature for about a week. All I need to do is to stir it once a day. It is the next day. Let's stir this up. I'm not seeing much difference from yesterday. I will leave it in room temperature again. This is the day 6. To me, it looks like shiokoji is ready. Let's have a look. I think it's very well fermented and the texture is very creamy. My shiokoji is ready. I have always wanted to make it, so I am quite happy. Here I have some mini cucumbers and I am going to coat them with uh, shiokoji and then I will leave it in the fridge for overnight to marinate. These pickles are very flavorful and uh, lightly salted with shiokoji. And these are cooked black-eyed peas and boiled cabbage. Let's season this with shio koji. I'm also adding tiny bit of sesame seed oil to add flavor. Let's mix them up and it's ready. I've sprinkled some roasted sesame seeds. It's so simple but so delicious. This time I've chopped some daikon and carrots into bite size. Seasoned them with shiokoji and left it in the fridge for overnight. Shiokoji added nice flavor to the vegetables. 
As you can see, shiokoji can be a very useful condiment. I've been keeping my shiokoji in my fridge, but I'm sure it'll be gone in no time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.